Hello, this is Sophie Lawson from sophielawson.com and this is another click look video where we click look at various art books and magazines and little Dennis with his big ears is here because he's excited. Can you tell he's excited? He's excited because it's time for another character design quarterly magazine. It's my favourite time of the month. It's me time of the month, as they say. So the last one we looked at was this one, issue number 19, which I thought was beautiful and I loved the little bunnies on it. <laughs> it was cool it was, but so far my favourite cover has been this one, which was issue number 6. I just think I love that, but I love the thing with these is, the Character Design Quarterly magazine always produces beautiful covers. So the question today is, what's this one going to look like? And what colour do you reckon it is? So little Dennis, he always lets us in on these. But he, he struggles sometimes. Dun, dun, dun. So this is a little unboxing slash click look. What colour do you reckon it is? Little Dennis has got his little mitts on it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Blue and um, pink. That's one of my all time favourite colour combinations. There's one little tiny thing I've noticed about this. See that little gap there? I would have got rid of that. Because the thing is, my eye is actually drawn to that. I've done a drawing like that. I've got one of my drawings of um, Yasmin Petty. In the corner is a little bit of white. And my eye is always drawn to it. That's the only little thing I've noticed about that. What I love about this is the character. How cool is she? And she's very... um. Like some um, sponginess, like you could sort of feel, you can feel a uh, sort of flesh. Beautiful feeling there. But I love this colour here. I love that colour with this. Oh, cool! We got a little pink. Um... Oh, that is beautiful. She's a little fairy. Look. I can't wait to see this one. This is issue number twenty. Look, for the character design quarterly magazine. Little Dennis is going to let us inside. Well, is it my favourite? I'll tell you something, it's definitely... It's definitely going to be up there. I really love our pose, I do. Let's get inside. I want to know who the artist is as well. Little Dennis is going to let us inside. Hee <laughs> hee! Boing! What I love is the, uh, the way these magazines are put together. Because there's a simplicity to it, which is beautiful. Like minimalist, minimalism sort of thing. With this thing. Oh, it smells beautiful. I wish you could smell that. It always reminds me when I used to buy video games and you'd break the seal and the smell of the, the manual would come out. It feel, I love that smell. Well, I like these ones. I love this girl. Our little editor, Sam. <laughs> Yay, look. Behind the cover art with Ever Balloon. What an absolutely beautiful... What an absolutely beautiful image that is. Now what's amazing is we've got an artist here to look into. Eva Balloon. Oh, they should have... Um, they should have made it... A, they should have made the... Um, they should have made it a bit smaller on the cover because that would have um, fixed that little issue as well, I think. Absolutely beautiful there. Yeah, see, this is an artist I want to look into now. Very much like Bob Eggleton, it's it's not just the, the quality of the drawings, it's what they're... Oh, look. It's what they're drawing as well, like the subject matter. How amazing is she? I love this one. I've always said I love it when you get a drawing showing a human with an animal, like a connection between humans and animals. I've always found that beautiful. She's a bit weird, look. It's like her face is sort of um, melting or something. I wonder what this one's called. Pathfinder and Wolf. I like that. Pathfinder. 
that would have been a nice cover as well. I've learned that the fewer strokes you do, the more natural the work looks. <laughs> that, guess what that one's called? It's called Elastic Hair. It's quite cool. I love this look. We've got a little sketch as well. I wonder what that was made in. It was made on an Intuos, Intuos Pro tablet with Adobe Photoshop. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? It looks really nice here as well, with, with like less details as well. Yeah, I love that. I love it. It's one of those, you know, you get some, the more you look at it, the more you sort of fall in love. Look at these, look. Yeah, little snails. Little snail, look. Cool, isn't he? I love the, um, I love the shapes of these characters' faces. A winter and autumn's tail. Hello. Mind mapping. Look, there she is. She's pretending to be um, <laughs> doing some mind mapping. I love it when they do that. I reckon what happens is 3D Toto Pabodashing. I reckon they say, uh, can you can you do a pose as if you're creating a mind map? Look, avoiding tangents. That's a little bit sort of what that is. It's well, it's not really sort of is, but dun dun dun. I like that, huh? You could print that out and, or you could scan that in and colour it in yourself. That's quite an interesting little image to have. I've heard of complementary, I've heard of split complementary, I've heard of secondary, primary, I've heard of thirdary, I've not heard of these ones. They're intermediate. God, there's even more sort of um, colour harmony things now. This is a nice, a nice article. This one. Oh, cool! They're doing the same scene, but with different, a different vibe. That's nice, isn't it? They should have done all four seasons. That would have been cool. Oh, that's that's very interesting. That. See, this would be very good to. Um, well, I reckon it'd be a good article. For the podcast, meet the artist. Look, Hyuna Lee, little witch on the little witch on a little train. Oh, cool characters! Love her little face. I love those noses. Oh, yeah, love her shapes. Really beautiful shapes. Oh yeah, this is another artist I'd look into as well. <laughs> These are cool. Shapes. This artist is really good at doing friendly shapes. Beautiful. Pretty cat, look. Look at the way that line is like one long line all the way up there, look. Almost as if she's going to slide off the table. <laughs> Developing ideas. Sarah Paz. That looks nice. Purple hair. Nice little poses. That's a nice colour combination as well. Pale, like mint green with a pale pink. Keep in mind that colours must be cohesive and serve what you're trying to convey. That looks nice. The line art. That'd be a nice tattoo, I reckon. 
ta da <laughs> There's a fun funness in this one. It's got a beautiful pose, this character. Turn on the lights, look. Turn on the lights. Yeah, I like this one. Rendering with style. I like her outfit. She's got a cool outfit. See, this is the sort of thing where I'd like to see more of their characters. Could I, you could imagine like um, a bunch of these sort of characters. So, like you'd like, I'd like to know what their friends look like, sort of thing. See, these are these um, characters here. For me, I don't sort of feel as a, as a nicer connection with like what was it? Well, like these ones. These ones, I just felt sort of um. I felt like a connection with them, whereas these ones, I don't feel that, like that connection. It's weird, isn't it? I think it's to do with the um. Because these have got lines on them. That's what I'm. Oh, I like these though. Cool shapes. Look at the shapes on that. Look, it's literally like a, um, a lightning bolt. <laughs> Very weird, like interesting shapes. Cool. Well, that's weird because like these characters here, I didn't sort of feel connect connected to, but. I guess that shows it's all about the subject matter as well. These remind me of like 1980s cartoons or something. <laughs> I like these ones. Oh, look. Look at that look. Friends. They're friends, but they're... There's a lot of fun with these ones. Characterise this. Cook. Cook water. Nice colours. He's an octopus. Human. <laughs> it's weird, isn't it? Yay! Little Dennis's favourite. The gallery. We like the gallery. Boing! You could even put that one there, look. I like the shapes. I'm always drawn to shapes for some reason. I feel like shapes have a sort of, um, a feeling to them. God, these are cool. These are really different. I like that. Fruit with feelings. <laughs> Strawberries. Mushrooms, look. Little little mushrooms. Hello. Oh. I like that. If you want rock, you've got it. Look, look at these little cool characters here, look. I love stuff like this. Yeah, look, doing everything. Oh, this is cool. I love it. Yeah. See, for me, it feel you, I can feel that this artist is having fun here. They're having fun exploring. Very nice shapes. I've got a feeling this artist is really good at gesture drawing and things. <laughs> got 
double guitar there. Dun, dun, dun. See now for me, I think the best phase was this bit. During this phase there's like loads of energy. They've still got the energy but like I said, I, I just find the sketchy phase always is my favourite. That is cool though, isn't it? Aw, finished. And here's our little friends for this issue, look. Who have we got here? We've got Kenneth. Hello! <laughs> oh, I like that, look. That's, is, it e is it Eva or Ava? Ava Bloon. Oh, cool. I love her fuzzy hair. What's this one? Iwilina. E I just love how different everyone is. Um, I love the fact that 3D Total Pavarishin <laughs> put their little faces at the end. Because I, I find it very... I think it's important to know the artist as well. I don't know why, but... And we finish with shoulder armour. Dun, dun, dun. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I had fun with that one. So did little Dennis. I feel like there's lots of there's lots of fun shapes in this one. Feels like a really fun fun uh, that is so amazing though. I'm I'm beginning to feel like when the dust settles, that might become my new favourite one. Because the thing is you can't really tell straight away. You need you need to sort of have a few months or something before you you can you know which one's the best one. I just like the way everything's sort of flowing in that one. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That was issue number 20 of the Character Design Quarterly magazine by 3D Total Publishing. Mm -hmm.